friends, I'm Jesse. Welcome to Church at Home. I'm so glad you're watching church today because we're talking about something so special. It's called prayer. Prayer is the way we talk to God. And each week, we're gonna learn more about why we talk to God, how we talk to God, and what we can say when we talk to Him. That's why our big idea says, I can talk to God. Are you ready to say that with me? Repeat that after me on three. One, two, three. I can talk to God. Great job! You know, there's a song I know that's actually about prayer. It's actually a prayer Jesus said to God that we can say too. I would love to sing this song with you right now. Let's stand up and sing the Lord's Prayer together. All right, guys, let's bounce around together. We are gonna sing this song about prayer. It's all about talking to God. We are gonna sing words that Jesus actually said. He said, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Let's sing together. was so fun. Thanks for singing that prayer with me. That song reminds us that we can pray to God. He loves us and he loves to hear from us. He is the best person to talk to because he always listens to us. He loves us so much. There's someone else I know who prayed to God. His name is Daniel and his story is in this book right here. Do you know what this book is? It's the Bible, God's special book about real people and places from a long time ago. Daniel's story is in this book right here. So let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and let's watch this Bible story. Stories of the Bible, Daniel in the lion's den. This is Daniel. Oh, hey. Who was a Jewish man who was taken to Babylon when he was very young. Mm -hmm. Daniel loved God and followed God's rules. He talked to God three times a day and asked God for help often. 
Daniel served in the Babylonian king's court for many years. Yeah, I know him. And under many kings. Hey, Daniel. Daniel always proved himself to be more capable than all the other court officials. I hear a lot of things. Well, every time. Daniel was serving under King Darius, and because of his great abilities, the king made plans to place him in charge of the entire empire. Wow, okay. The other court officials searched for some fault in Daniel, but they couldn't find anything wrong with him. He was faithful, responsible, and completely trustworthy. The court officials realized the only way to get at Daniel would be to challenge his faith. Come on! So they went to King Darius. <laughs> Excuse me, Your Majesty. And advised him to make a law that for the next 30 days, any person who prays to anyone except King Darius will be thrown into the lion's den. I like it. King Darius signed this law, and once a Babylonian king signed a law, it could not be overruled. When Daniel learned of this law, he went home and knelt down, as he always did, to pray in his room with the windows open towards Jerusalem. He prayed three times a day, just as he always had done, giving thanks to God and asking for his help. The officials went to Daniel's house and found him praying. Gotcha! They went to the king and reminded him of the law. I remember. Well... Then they said that Daniel had been found praying to God three times a day. What? When the king heard this, he was very upset. Get over here. And he spent the whole day trying to think of a way to save Daniel. Wait, what? By that evening, the court officials came back to the king <coughs> and reminded him that no law signed by the Babylonian king could be overruled. So at last, the king gave orders for Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den. The king said to him, May your God, who you serve faithfully, rescue you. Then the lion's den was sealed shut with Daniel inside. The king spent the night fasting and couldn't sleep. Then very early in the morning, the king hurried to the lion's den. He called out, Hey Daniel! Was your God able to rescue you from the lions? And Daniel answered, Long live the king! My God sent his angel to shut the lion's mouths so that they would not hurt me, for I have been found innocent in his sight. The king was overjoyed and ordered that Daniel be taken out of the lion's den. Then the king ordered the men who had schemed against Daniel to be thrown into the lion's den as punishment. Daniel was safe. There was not a scratch on him, for he trusted in God. What a great story! Daniel loved God so much, and he shows us that we can pray and talk to God all the time, when we're happy, when we're nervous, when we're feeling silly, and even when we're scared. We can always talk to God, and God always listens to us. That reminds me of a special verse in the Bible. But wait, it's all covered in bubbles. Can you help me pop them? Let's go! Okay, everybody! It's bubble popping time! A bubble on the left, a bubble on the right, bubble up high, and bubble down low. There's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble, there's a bubble. Wait, that's not a bubble, that's a bubble! Does everybody know what the bubble is? I don't, but I'm gonna find out. Party people! Let's keep it going! Yay! Pop them to the left, pop them to the right, pop them over here, and pop them by the side! That's it! Alright, alright! Keep going! Yay! We're almost there! That's a pop! Exactly 23 and a half bubbles left! Okay, ready? Go! One, two, three! Keep going! That's a bubble! That's a bubble! That's a bubble! That's a bubble! Oh, too many bees! <laughs> pop them over here! Pop them over there! On the ground and pop them in the air! Pop them everywhere! Yay! Good job popping the bubbles, everyone! And look what you did! We can see our Bible verse now. It says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. 
Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He has done. Philippians 4, 6. Wow, this verse tells us not to worry. We can pray instead. That means whenever we feel nervous or sad or scared, we can remember to pray. God loves us so much and He always hears our prayers. We can tell Him how we feel and ask Him what we need. This is a good verse to remember, so let's sing it together. Everyone stand up and let's sing Philippians 4, 6. This song is Philippians 4, 6. We're gonna start by putting our hands like this and singing, don't worry, let's sing together. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he's done. Sing that again. Yeah, I say I don't worry about anything. Instead, pray. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He's done. Hey. All He's done. Hey. All right, hands up. We're gonna sing some O's. Oh, oh, ooh. Philippians 4 6. I don't worry about anything. Said, pray about everything. Step, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He's done. Hey. All He's done. Hey. One more time. Yeah, I say I don't worry about anything. Step, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for all He's done. Hey. All He's done. All right, everyone, hands up. Oh, 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 Philippians 4, 6. Great job singing and dancing, everyone. That Bible verse reminds us that we can pray to God. Prayer is one of my favorite things to do. I just love talking to God because He is my friend. And it is so good to talk with your friends. And guess what? Our friends, the Scuppets, want to talk to you about prayer today. Let's put on our listening ears and our thinking caps and see what the Scuppets are doing today. Let's join the Scuppets in the deep blue sea where God's creation Hi guys, I'm Pastor Steve. And I'm Skipper Winston. And we are so glad that you joined us on the sea. Now today, we're gonna to be learning about a really, really fun thing. Today, we're gonna to be learning about prayer. What is prayer, Pastor Steve? Oh, that's a great question. And we're gonna answer that question right here on this boat. How? First, we're gonna start with a squishy, fishy fact with Millie. Awesome! for a squishy fishy fact. This is my friend Nikki, and she's going to tell us all about a squishy fishy fact. Today our question is about prayer. Oh, yeah, what is it Nikki? Well, prayer is just talking to God. Did you know that ocean animals can talk to each other too? You mean for real? Not just in a cartoon? Yeah, for real. They have their own languages. Dolphins and whales talk to each other through clicks, whistles, and squeaks. Oh, oh, let me try. Now, tell me, what did I say? I don't know, Melly. I don't speak dolphin. Oh, I'll keep working on it. Okay, you do that, Melly. And I've got another squishy fishy fact for you. Did you know that God created the ocean and all of the animals in it? And he loves all of his ocean creatures and he loves you, and that's a fact. A squishy fishy fact. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm glad you made it up here. This is the helm of the boat. And you know, I thought this would be a perfect place to answer our question of the day, what is prayer? Well, um, how are you gonna do that? By talking about our Bible story, Daniel in the lion's den. Oh, that's a good one. I thought a lot about what I would do if I were in a lion's den. Oh yeah, that would be really scary. Well, not for me. Well, you're pretty tough, Hector. That's right. But 
there is something about that story that I like more than any other part. Uh, do you like how God shuts the mouths of the lions real tight? Well, that part is really cool, but what I really like is the fact that Daniel talked to God all the time. And in fact, the Bible says that Daniel talked to God three times every day. Well, he must have known God pretty well if he prayed that much to him. Oh yeah, he did. And did you know that God wants to hear from you too? And you can do that anytime, anywhere. He really wants to hear from you. Uh-oh. What's wrong? Well, I feel like you're wrapping up your thoughts. And that means it's time for Bestos to part. <laughs> well, yeah, you're right. It is time to meet up with Bestos. And he's got something he'd like to share with you. Hello! I am Captain Bestos, and today I'm going to teach you something about the boats. This is a knot. They are used as decorations on the boat to attract seagulls to your boat. Bestos, you don't know what you're talking about. Who made you captain anyway? The seagulls did! Ugh. Yay! Thank you for joining Captain Bestos for Know Your Boat! Winston! Winston, did you see that? I, there was a dolphin out there! Oh! Let me try and talk to him! Okay, try click, it. Click! I woke up! I woke up! Click, click! Okay, ah. I, let, me, let me try it, let me try it. Um, I don't think that's working. Yeah, you know, I don't think they're listening. But hey, remember that God will always listen to us whenever we talk to Him. Got it! Okay, so we've been answering the question, what is prayer? Now, Winston, do you think you know the answer? Yep, I learned that prayer is talking to God. But wait, can we pray to God on the sea? You sure can. Prayer is just talking to God, and you can talk to God anytime, anywhere. God really wants to hear from you. But right now, Winston, it's time for you and I to go to shore. We'll see you next time, sailors. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye-bye. Wow, that was fun to see the scuppets on a boat. I loved learning that dolphins can talk to each other in their own special way. I also learned that God hears me when I pray. And He hears you too. You can always talk to God because He is always listening. Hey, I just had a great idea. Let's pray and talk to God right now. Let's put five fingers here and five fingers there and put them together for a prayer. God, thank you so much for loving me. Thank you for listening to me when I pray. Help me to remember that I can talk to you about everything when I pray. I love you so, so much. Amen. Thanks for watching Church at Home with me. I've had so much fun with you learning about prayer and what it means to talk to God. And don't forget to have a grown up help you to go to saddlebackkids.com for some fun crafts and activities for you to learn more about prayer. And we would love to see you in person too. So check out our campus locations and come visit us. Now let's say our big idea one more time. I can talk to God. Ready? One, two, three. I can talk to God. Great job! We love you and we'll see you soon. Bye!